Hey guys, Redripers here, and today I'm going to show you how you can manually update Windows using the Microsoft Update Catalog. So instead of updating Windows through the normal update section in the settings, we're instead going to be going to the Microsoft Update Catalog and downloading the correct packages from there. Now this is useful in cases where your normal Windows update just isn't working properly. For example, if it's just getting stuck at installing or downloading and isn't telling you what's wrong. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up a web browser and we want to go to www.catalog, spelt American, so C-A-T-A-L-O-G, dot update, dot Microsoft, dot com. And if we press enter, that will then take us to the Microsoft Update Catalog. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out what major version our Windows OS is on. So I'm not talking about whether you are on Windows 10 or Windows 11, instead I'm talking about the major version of the OS. So for example 22H2 or 23H2 and so on. So if you come to search and you type run, and then in the run bar if you type winver, so w-i-n-v-e-r, and click OK. That will then tell you what major version of Windows you have installed. So as you can see, I have 23H2. So now we know our major version. We're now just going to search our major version in the search bar. And now if I press enter, it will now show us the 23H2 updates. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to refine the search down to just our actual Windows version. So for me, that is Windows 11, as we do not want the Microsoft Surf updates showing up as well. And now if you want, you can also refine it down more by just putting cumulative. So those are just the major updates that have everything in them, similar to how they used to be called as service packs. So if we search that, that will now show us all the 23H2 Windows 11 cumulative updates. Now if we just make sure it's ordered by the newest first, so latest updated. And now as you can see, there are these releases here. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out if we have an ARM or an x64 based system. So if you come to start and you go to settings, and then if you go to system and then down at the bottom click about, inside of about you should be able to see the processor that you have. So if you have an Intel or an AMD processor, then it is most likely an X64, as I do not believe they are manufacturing any ARM CPUs at the moment. And if it says something like Qualcomm, then it is probably an ARM CPU. Now alternatively, you can also come down to the system type and it should tell you the processor type here. So as you can see, it is x64 based. So now we know our system type, we can come back to the catalog, and you want to make sure that the update you're trying to install is for your system type. So I'm going to go with the latest update for 23H2, that is x64 based. So if I click download, it will then open up this new window, and then if we click this link here, it will now start downloading the package. And now it's finished downloading the package, if we open the file up, as you can see, it is now preparing the installation. And now it's just making sure that it is for our system. And now if we click yes, it will now start installing it. So it's now going to start copying the packages to the Windows Update cache. And once it's copied it to the cache, it will then start the actual installer. And now it's finished copying the files to the cache. It's now started the installer, so we'll just let that go through. And now it's finished the install. We now just need to restart to apply it. And there we go, now the system has restarted, the update is now fully installed. Now I will just show you what happens if you try to install an update that isn't for your system. Say so if I remove the 23H2 and just search for Windows 11 cumulative, and then we get the latest updates again. And this time if I try to install the x64 version for 24H2, say so if I download it, and if I now try and run it, as you can see it comes up telling us that this update is not applicable to our computer. So if you are getting this, make sure that you have downloaded the correct version. So if you have an x64 system, you want to download x64. If you have an ARM system, you want to have ARM64. And you need to have the correct Windows major version. Now it is possible that if your major version hasn't had an update recently, you might be able to get it to update to the next version along, depending on how Microsoft have done it. So for example, if you were on 22H2 and it hadn't been updated recently, you may be able to update it to 23H2 and so on. However, I'm not 100% sure on that one, but if it's coming up saying that the update is not applicable to your computer, make sure you have downloaded the correct package. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget the like button. If you did like it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe for content like this, and I'll see you another time. Bye.